Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Welcome to the fourth and final week of the Pantry, Fridge, and Freezer Challenge. This week, I focused on using up convenience items from our freezer. If you're doing the Pantry Challenge, I'd love to know how it went for you this past week. Also, be on the lookout because later on this week, I'll be uploading a video that shows you the state of my pantry and freezer after the challenge. So for dinner tonight, we are having sticky wings and cheeseburger dip, and I'm serving it with some warm tortilla chips. I always heat up my tortilla chips um, in the oven or air fryer. It just makes them taste so much better, nice and crispy and warm. I did record a video on how I make these wings and the cheeseburger dip, and I will make sure to link that in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having big dinner salads. So we've got lettuce, and then this is a chicken that I'm using. It's been in my freezer for a while. I only tried it once. I got it because people said it was really good and that it tasted like McDonald's. What I didn't realize was that it was raw, and so um, I thought it was, you know, pre-cooked. It would just take a few minutes to make, but it's not. You gotta bake it for quite a while. And it is good, but I don't hardly deep fry anything, so I bake mine, so it's not quite the same, but it is good. I probably would not buy it again unless I was going to deep fry it though. So we've got chicken on there, we've got red onion, cheddar cheese, I've got some boiled eggs on there as well. And this is my plate. I only, the only thing I added was banana peppers right on top. And then we are having salad dressing. Howard is using this one. And then I am using the Olive Garden um, salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So today is Howard's birthday and he wanted Italian food. This is one of our favorite Italian restaurants. So he got um, penne pesto pasta with chicken and it comes with bread, which is wrapped up and then a salad. They have the best salad dressing, like a house salad dressing. I got Italian wedding soup. This was the first place that I ever had Italian wedding soup from and I'm spoiled, it is so good. I think those are spinach leaves on top. And then I also got like a kid's pizza, which doesn't look that great actually. So I'm hoping it's pretty good. And then I went and got him a nothing bunt cake. The flavor of the month is snickerdoodle and that's what he picked. And then I got a red velvet cake. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having a meal from Trader Joe's. We're having pasta and garlic naan because I do not have any garlic bread. So I decided to use this and then I just put, added some um, butter on top. And then the pasta is the skillet meal. My first time having it, it's pretty good. Very peppery, but it's tasty. It says there's three cups of pasta um, in the bag and there's really only not even two cups of pasta. So we're probably gonna be a little bit hungry. I don't have any lettuce or anything to make a salad on the side, but um, quick and easy dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. We are having a freezer meal for dinner tonight. We are having this um, chicken bulgogi uh, by Bibigo. We really like this brand and we have tried different flavors of their mandu. And then we are also having chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's. This is a first for us. People um, rave about it and say how good it is. And it actually is pretty good. I've never bought it before because I don't care for peas at all, but I decided to give it a try. I did take the peas out before I cooked the fried rice, and here is the fried rice. And it's, like I said, it's pretty tasty. It's not bad at all, it has a good flavor. And here is some uh, stir-fried broccoli. I just had some fresh broccoli, chopped it up, and I sauteed it in garlic oil. And then I used this seasoning. I told you all I have a ton of seasoning that I'm trying to get through, so I used this. And then here is the mandu as well. So quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see you all next time.